Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 23rd. So, July 23rd. Um, keep in mind that this reading is a message from my guides for somebody. I don't know who it's for. We're just going to see what comes up. This is not uh, sign specific and it's not time specific, okay? So let's just see what comes up. And I know I have a bunch more singles readings to do and I had a busy day today and it's not over yet. So I will do more of them tomorrow. What do we have for the 23rd? What do we have for the 23rd? What can we expect? What is the incoming? What's happening? Ooh. All tied up. Stuck in conflict. About change. We got somebody here that is conflicted. Feeling conflicted on the inside but not opening their mouth. Unsure of what they really want. Yeah, we got somebody that is definitely unsure. There's so many possibilities. And the thing is, this is my second daily vibe. I already did one. I'll probably let them both go now. Adjacent, adjacent possibilities. There is. There's so many options. So we got somebody here that is indecisive over what they want. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, she's some crow. This is definitely a replay of the one that I just did. So I will let them both go. And I canceled that freaking download. I should have just let it go. It's investing. Investment. It's like this guy um, is wondering if he's ready. He's wondering if it's time. He's wondering if he's even ready for a commitment. He is. I don't even think I'm going to go all the way with this reading because these cards, they really they really tell a lot, okay? I feel like there's there's an opportunity for love. There's love and there's op this is something solid. This is lucky, okay? This is this is this is a gift. This is this is something um that you that you can invest in and it will grow and it could grow into something really big we have this one one here it could it could grow into something um very emotionally fulfilling and abundant this is venus energy right here it is definitely venus energy and then the one that i just did we had the Emp empress come up again makes complete sense and this one came up as well but it was upright a commitment, a commitment. Somebody is really confused and conflicted about getting themselves in a commitment. Okay? They don't know if they want it or not. You know, they're wondering, you know, if, if they should invest, if it's time, if they're ready. You know, if, they, if they're ready to get involved in something else, if they're ready to relocate or start over, if there's no more growth where they're really at. You know, we got somebody here that is really conflicted about this new opportunity that has been presented to them. They see this opportunity. They can feel it. They can touch it. They, they, it's something that is, you know, beautiful. But there may be some sort of fear of commitment. But the Four of Wands reversed is, you know, I feel like there. this is unexpected. And I think that this person is probably going to take this commitment. Because it's so emotional, fulfill emotionally fulfilling, it's solid, it's stable, it's... <laughs> well, you think about Venus energy, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, yeah. Um, justice. Jeez, we have these... I think, I mean, these are very much repeating cards, but this one's reversed. Now, this is the contract. Fear of a contract. There's been imbalance. There's been a lack of integrity. There's somebody... You know, maybe dealing with some legal issues. They may be going through a divorce. Maybe they haven't completed the last contract yet. Maybe they're still stuck in a contract. Um, six of Swords. <laughs> Repeating cards, but this one was reversed in the other one. Um, six of Swords. This is moving forward. 
five of coins reversed. Perfect. Seen, we've had this one as well and the other one. So this is coming out of the darkness about love. Now this is intimacy. This is compassion. This is a new love. It's happiness. So the happiness, somebody is starting to feel happy again. They're starting to see an opportunity for happiness. Ten of Cups. Oh my God. Oh. Knight of Swords reverse. Not in any hurry whatsoever. Page of Cups, Offer of Love. So... We do have an offer of love. We have an offer of love here. We have, this is, this is uh, very emotional. It's a very emotional time. I feel like we're dealing with somebody here that is in no hurry to um, get married because they were in some sort of karmic contract that went bad. But they're very curious, right? And they're, it's like they, ha they see a big opportunity for love. And they're starting to come out of this period of doubt and fear and, and um, lack. They're starting to, and they're starting to move in a new direction. I think that they realize that it's time. It's time to, you know, be loved. It's time to, you know get unstuck from where they've been and I think that now they they have this unexpected opportunity that came in quicker than they thought you know what I mean this this did come in quick and I think that they're probably was they weren't prepared for it to come in that quick they weren't I don't think they were because we had that I just don't think they were I don't think they they were prepared because they aren't they haven't completely you know completed a contract or something like that. Maybe they have completed it or not, but I don't think they have. Um, I feel like there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here that, that you know, could lead to a very happy home life, a very happy partnership, okay? But I think we have somebody here that may be fearful of, because this is fearful. There could be, this person is fearful of you know, moving too fast, fearful of, you know, making the wrong decision, not, you know, yeah, we got somebody that is afraid, you know, of being treated unfairly, fear, afraid of being lied to, you know, but I think they're going to, they're going to extend their, they're going to open their heart anyway. So I feel like somebody is receiving an offer of love from somebody that is basically going to wear their heart on their sleeve, even though they're a little scared. They're a little scared to do it. Um, this person is ready to move forward. They're 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 ready for a relationship, but they weren't they weren't ready for it quite so fast. Do you know what I mean? This came faster than they expected. Um, mm -mm. There's love here that is. That could lead to happily ever after. I mean, I can't. There's no need for me to keep going. There isn't. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Coins, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands reversed. And if you were to look that card up, it's very good and reversed. It's it's a relationship that is about to become more committed. Or somebody may meet somebody spontaneously. And they, <laughs> you know, they they fall in love real fast. Okay, I mean, the page of cups too, this, this, this could happen very, very quickly. And we got somebody here that is probably like, I don't, I wasn't planning on moving this fast. I wasn't planning on moving this fast. And that's why they're conflicted. So, um, fear of disaster is big. Tower on the bottom. Somebody was involved in a false foundation in the past, which has brought about the fear you know, of being treated unfairly, fear of being lied to, fear of disaster. And I think this is hap this is like instant. This is a shock. It is a freaking shock. It hundred percent is a shock. It's a shock that this 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 these two people have come together and it has turned out to be so perfect. So Anyway, I feel like the, 
there is a new romance that is moving very quickly and we have somebody here that is a little scared of how quick it is moving and they they may want they may be you know a little fearful that you know is this is this too good to be true is this too good to be true you know I, it's funny because i said to myself earlier today this morning and it's nighttime now if it's too good to be true if it seems like it's too good to be true it probably is and i said that to myself uh, i don't know why but maybe that was a message for you as well but then again is it is it because we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Ace of Coins and we have the Four of Wands and we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Page of Cups. And it feels like this person isn't, um, wasn't, they were wanting a relationship and they were looking for a relationship, but they weren't. It was surprising that it happened so fast. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I feel as though the 23rd, there is going to be message, messages of love. Okay, I do think there's going to be messages of love. There's, there's a, uh, maybe there's a need to slow down. There could be a need to slow down. Um. There's, it's exciting. It is exciting. I think this is very, very, very unexpected. It's quite a shock, but it could lead to something long term. It absolutely could lead to something long term. It could lead to marriage. I mean, and long term commitment, whatever this is. I think this is new. I think this is new love. I see nothing in these cards that says reconciliation. Nothing. Okay. This has to do with. Um, new love it does have to do with new love coming out of the darkness coming out of that victim mentality you know no longer being left behind i'm moving forward I'm, I'm going to that better place it's time i am ready so somebody made that decision but now that it's happened it's just like whoa 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 so playfulness and this is playfulness as well so to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Somebody is starting a new commitment. Or their commitment is about to step it up to the next level. And this is quite... A shock. Good luck.